Hey everyone, ZeroJetty here with the Xplay Fans channel. I'm here to give a quick taste of Slipstream, a racing game with a heavy focus on drifting and of course, getting in another car Slipstream, which is essentially when you go behind a car to reduce uh, air resistance and then kind of slingshot past them. Uh, but yeah, it's got single player, multiplayer, which is local, and then you got your records, achievements, so on and so forth. You get the idea. Uh, we're going to do the Grand Tour, which is uh, actually my favorite mode here. But of course, you have your uh, single races, your Grand uh, Prix, your Cannonball, which is uh, just sort of like you can tweak settings and stuff like that. Time Trials and Battle Royale, uh, which is essentially Elimination. I did this on Normal, and uh, at the bottom left, there's an indicator to say how many, how far you are from the, uh, I believe, the next person, and then the vehicles behind you. So I did pretty good and got past all of the other vehicles. I did the one where you could do, hold on, uh, 16 racers. I got past the other 15 people, never saw the first place car. Uh, and according to the uh, little record or the little uh, stats at the bottom left I was telling you about just now, I was at least 700 meters behind him. So I don't know if it was some weird thing where I didn't race well enough, but I felt I was doing good on the medium setting, but not to even see the first place person was kind of annoying. But anyways, let's go. Uh, we're just going to do normal here. So this one's kind of neat because you can actually go through different... Uh, stages you uh, pick which one you go to at the end of each race while uh, sort of racing a rival uh, what car do we want let's just do the middle of the road so the big thing about drifting here is when you're drifting you actually have to sort of uh like let go of the uh, acceleration hit acceleration and brake and then quickly let, let go of brake to start drifting i'm terrible at that so we're just going to do uh automatic drifting uh we have your different uh sort of uh, modes here we're going to go medium, which is the one I've been playing on. And that's the one I did that I was telling you about with the uh, uh, with the uh, one where I wasn't able to see even the first place person. Uh, but let's go. So in this mode, even if you don't beat your rival, you get to, steep, you get to still keep going. Here we go. Awesome music's pretty great. And I like the way this game looks. And here we go. We might turn on. We might try a... Uh, uh, try to uh, do manual drifting at some point, but not right now. There you go. So I'm, I was behind that car long enough. Got a little boost of speed. Uh, one of the modes does let you customize your car. I did terribly in it because I dumped all my points into a, uh, into top speed and had terrible acceleration. So if this, let's see, this happens. I can actually rewind time. So if you look in the bottom right there, you can actually see. Uh, the uh, little arrow filling up and that allows me to rewind time and it's fun because these uh at least in this mode these uh npc characters will actually re uh, react to you rewind rewinding time can't talk today it's all the racing but yeah after this area we'll go to another one and it'll be another one of these characters which are based on uh different characters let's go to the marble gardens that sounds fun uh, I have found a Bob Ross one. There appears the look. There's a vampire lady. There's a stuffy sort of a cutthroat businessman. Hello, Natasha. Goodbye, Natasha. I also believe that the at least the uh, uh, racer NPCs can also slipstream behind you because I've had people fly past me. If you look in the bottom left, you can actually see uh, wee, uh, my little sort of map where uh, people are. And as you can see in the bottom, it says one, 163 meters or 100 whatever. I believe that's how far behind me the uh, my rival is right now. And like I said before, it was really weird because I was doing well and I didn't even see the first place person. So I don't know super good to beat it in medium. I hate to see uh, hard or, har or the hardest setting. We're gonna go to the ice caps. All right, this doesn't seem to control any different. Oh, never mind. I thought that was gonna be like an entire snow stage. It was just a transition. Oh, there's Bob Ross. Bye, Bob Ross. We miss you. Igloos. Here we go. And the the way I sort of I've kind of figured out how to do the drifting, 
is a little bit different than how the tutorial introduced it. But it doesn't actually tell you to really release the uh, thing afterwards. So like I said before, you're supposed to be using the uh, holding the left stick, let go of the right trigger, and then hit down on the right trigger and left trigger, and then sort of let go of the left trigger. It was weird. I got I was able to get to pass the tutorial because it didn't actually let you pass it without doing it. Oops. We're gonna go to Emerald Hills, which I'm fairly certain is a Sonic reference. I wonder if I'll ever get to a point. Oh, robot. Uh, I wonder if I'll ever get to a point where we're referencing the references to video games. That'd be upsetting. It's also really fun to hit an NPC car and just watch them like just shoot off into the distance. Wee. We're catching up. We may not catch him, but it doesn't matter. We it, if we don't we don't if we don't catch him, we don't actually lose. Nothing terrible really happens. Very close. Uh, let's go to Radical City. And there's a pretty big cast of characters that you can uh, sort of like race against, but they don't seem to have like super different uh, racing styles or anything like that. They have different the different cars that you can pick from, but other than that, it's like, well, they're going to talk at you for a little bit and then you're going to race them. Or you'll race them while they're talking, at, talking to you. But yeah, this is the mode I enjoy the most because you get to see a whole bunch of different things. Whoa. See? They're aware of something happening when I adjust time in my favor. Maybe that's my just my superpower. I can revive in sec five seconds. That'd be a pretty cool superpower. There you go. So, there you go. So let's see, uh, let's try this without the uh, helpful drifting. Uh, let's start a new one. Let's do a uh, stock car, let's go to the Ruby Cup. All right, we got this manual drifting, medium. All right, let's do this. So it's all this kind of stuff like that. Morning city. Uh, afternoon city is a totally different thing. Every single racing game. I don't understand it. Why Why do you always begin at the end? All right, so. That wasn't a big enough turn to try to do that. There you go. So like that's me just hammering on the uh, brake. I have to actually yeah, kind of tap and stuff like that. So, uh, I am very bad at drifting, apparently. So, I probably will stick to automatic. Can you switch back? No. Ooh, I can increase the game speed. Oh, I can decrease the speed and game speed. That's neat. I don't need to do that. I can get rid of the... Oh, that's kind of cool. So when you're when you're like, ow, ow. Whoa. How 
That's neat. I like that. But I think you get the idea. I am Zero JD. This is the XBLA Fans Channel. Have a nice day. Goodbye.